We were looking at how video games have been used by computer scientists to get them interested in computer science. So they played a lot um, through modifying, hacking games. They had turned that into a, an interest in computer science. But for some groups that wasn't happening, and particularly for young African American men. Now they may play games more hours per day than any other group, but they weren't turning that into a way to look at the computation behind the video games. And some of that had to do with the way they were approaching them. They were approaching games as the same way they appro approach sports, which meant that they were playing with a strong sense of sportsmanship. So we thought if we could find a way for them to start breaking open the games, looking at them as legitimate, a legitimate reason to break open the game without violating their sense of sportsmanship, it might encourage them to get into computer science. And we couldn't think of any decent way to break a game except for the one that is truly a legitimate way, which is game testing. And that's where the idea for glitch game testers came from. Game testing is basically quality assurance for software, but the software happens to be video games. So much of it is really um, detailed, boring work, and I think that's actually a big surprise for a lot of the guys when they start. We warn them. Um, there are a lot of glitches. Uh, it goes from text bugs to art bugs to just bugs that make the whole system crash. You have things like people running through walls or or people in the game overlapping. It's, it's a variety of bugs. So we have developed all of our training programs with um, EA games. Um, they've helped us uh, teaching us about quality assurance as well as providing us with some on-site training. Um, we've also worked with companies such as Cartoon Network. Um, we've been working with GameTap testing all of their games. Um, we've been working with uh, Last Legion's games, bo doing both iPhone testing as well as Facebook games. Um, and we've been working with some children's games, both for educational purposes with other researchers and also um, some children's games such as Good Egg Studios, who produces Elf Island. Well, there's a variety of different things in it for them. If we are testing their games, we're either doing that for free in many cases or otherwise at a cost that's far lower than they could get anywhere else. Um, for the companies that are helping us with training, they're really concerned about, and this is particularly EA's concern, developing a diversity in the industry. There's a very low representation of African Americans working in the game industry. And they feel like if they can help at this level with high school students, introduce them to the industry, um, that potentially they can build employees for the future. Um, at the Glitch program, we actually learn a lot of CS, uh, computer science. You, if you weren't already interested in it, you'll most likely get interested in computer science when you come here because they make it fun to learn or they make it easy to learn. Like you would think, oh, well, it's Java programming and all this. It's, it's really hard. But when they break it down for you, it becomes really easy. Uh, well, those of us who want to eventually go into producing or uh, programming, we get to see, you know, what are some of the things that could go wrong and help us uh, make them better in the future. Um, what we want to do is get a number of them interested in computer science. We don't expect everyone to become a computer science major, but we want them to feel like they have agency with technology, that they can make technology themselves and contribute in that field. We recruit them through um, local community groups that we work with primarily, so we do a lot of work with the computer clubhouses um, as well as boys and girls clubs. Um, and then it just tends to get passed along. Um, we end up having I, I think we got about 200 applicants for the 10 open positions this year, and that was about the same thing last year. This year we decided if the students were interested that we would offer them advanced placement computer science. So next May they'll be able to actually take the test and hopefully test for college credits. Um, all 13 of the students who are returning decided to do that, and so far it's been pretty successful. And there, it's some of the most exciting introductory computer science courses I've ever seen, where people are all like raising their hand, like, I want to I do it, I want to do it, I want to answer that. And so that's kind of fun. Uh, I decided to start majoring in computer science after I came here. Actually, I'll be attending Georgia Tech in the fall. One of our findings from last summer is we had 12 students start last summer. And at the beginning of the summer, two of them had an interest in computer science as a possible college major. At the end of the summer, eight of them said they had an interest in computer science as a possible college major. And that, while the numbers are too low to say that's significant, it's, it's definitely um, a very promising showing for our first summer. So we'll see at the end of the summer with 23 how things turn out.